come back. This is the first step in modernizing our board electronics. I'm using a MacArthur head stacked on top of a Raspberry Pi with open plotter. Accessoires will be attached using a powered USB hub. To connect to the Raspberry Pi, a Wi-Fi router will be used. All electronics will be installed in this compartment. There is plenty of space here. To power up everything, you need ground, permanent 12 volt and switch 12 volts. I'm using vacuum clamps for power distribution. Make sure the cable tips have a good connection inside the clamps. Next on the list is the router. It's powered by 5 volts using a USB-C connector. I fitted a down stepper from 12 to 5 volts into the router bracket and connected to the switched 12 volts power rail. For USB accessories, which will be attached to the Raspberry Pi, I'm using a powered USB hub. Another downstepper is needed here as well. Unfortunately, the cables were short, so I had to solder extensions onto them. And finally screw everything in place. This is the main unit, the Raspberry Pi with a stacked MacArthur head on top. It supports a wide range of features like NMEA 2000, Miner, IES or I2C. If you have any questions, write a comment and let me know. And with that, you have everything what you need for a simple, cheap and open source board electronic solution. Currently I'm using a software defined radio stick with a do-it-yourself antenna to receive AES data and a cheap USB GPS dongle. 
The MacArthur head makes sure the Raspberry Pi is powered up when you switch on the 12V rail. And in addition to that, all the accessories are turned on as well. Now you can connect to the board's Wi-Fi and get a safe to open plotter, which is running on the Raspberry Pi. When you switch off the 12 volt rail, the signal is triggered and the Pi shuts down safely. And I guess that wraps it up. If you would like to get more insights, leave me a comment and I would love to share it with you. See you!